what you you put that defeat down to today, and how disappointing was that that conceding of of, of the penalty in that in that first instance? Uh, the the penalty is not a penalty created; is a penalty that uh, we commit. Uh, it's not something that was created is not something that comes in the sequence of something um, great. Um, and for me, it comes completely isolated of the context at the time, because at the time was our best period in the, in the first half. We start bad. I believe the first, let's say, maybe 20 minutes was um, a poor performance. Uh, some empty spots in terms of pressing attitudes, uh, recovering the ball. Um, I didn't like at all. But then we changed during the during the first half. We change. We adapt the positions, especially on midfield. The team improved a lot. We had a period of domination. We had a couple of of good chances, and then the penalty. And then the penalty, which for me is out of out of the context of the game at that moment. Okay, go to Ian Abrahams. Ian, I'm just unmuting you. Hi, Jose. Um, how disappointed were you as well in the second half? Because you brought on Gareth Bale at half time. You had Bale, Mora, Son, Kane on the pitch, and didn't really trouble Cashmish Michael too many times in that second half when he was pushing to get back in the game. Well. Uh, they didn't trouble Stu. Uh, they scored uh, Toby on his on his own goal, and um, I don't remember anything else. I remember Schmeichel making a phenomenal save with uh, with Sonny on the far post. I remember us being dominant and trying. And I agree with you. We didn't create 15 chances in the in the second half, but they are a good team. They know how to defend. They know how to drop uh, the lines uh, back and uh, they create as difficulties by their defensive uh, organization. Okay, Jamie Weir. Hello, Jose. Do you feel sometimes that Spurs need to be more proactive rather than reactive? Maybe take the game to the opposition a bit more? But the fact that we didn't start well is not because I didn't tell the players for not to start well. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I didn't tell any player, don't be proactive or be reactive. But I admit, we, we did start bad. We did start bad, yeah. Okay, Charlie Wyatt. Jose, looking at the last week, how damaging have these results been with, with just one point? Which damaging? How damaging? How damaging? How, how say... damaging in terms of staying at the top? Because you've obviously done so well to get this far. How frustrated are you? I'm frustrated when I lose, but it's not like there is a there is a target that cannot be achieved. Our target is to win the next match, and the result of the previous matches they don't interfere in our target for the next match. The next match we want to win, like we wanted to win today. Uh, don't get me wrong, we want to win matches, and um, what happened in the match before? shouldn't have an impact on on the next one, which is what I think is going to, to happen. You have to try always to win the next match. Okay, we'll do two more and then we'll do Stoke questions. Matt Laws first and then Paul Brown, and then it'll be moving over to Stoke. Matt. Hi, Jose. Um, Serge has been playing well, but he has conceded four penalties since he's been at Tottenham now, and it's something you've highlighted in the past with him. Is it a problem? Yeah. 
Is it a problem? Let's focus on today. Today you made a you made a mistake. Today you made a mistake. But before his his mistake on minute 45 or 46, we had out other players making mistakes in other areas of of the pitch. I I'm I can't blame a player for a mistake. Okay, Paul Brown, and then we'll move to Stoke questions. Paul, if you can unmute yourself, thank you. Paul, you've unmuted, but we can't hear you. Give you one last chance. If not, we'll move on to Stoke questions. No, we can't hear you. Sorry, Paul. I'm going to move on to Stoke questions, which are embargoed until 1.30 on Tuesday. Dan Kilpatrick, you're first. <laughs> 